Hello drivers, I hope you're having a great week. Today we're going to talk about a technique that mechanics have been jealously guarding for decades. Did you know that your diesel engine can lose up to 40% of its power simply because you're using it wrong? I'm revealing to you today this method so simple that most diesel owners find it too easy to work. Yet this technique has allowed thousands of vehicles to exceed 250,000 miles without major problems. Stay until the end because I'm going to give you the exact procedure and the signs that tell you your diesel absolutely needs this treatment. Let's start by understanding why your diesel engine is slowly choking. Look around you at all these diesels driving in the city, making short trips, never really heating up. These engines were designed to work hard, to run long, to rev high. Think about tractors in the fields, trucks on highways, boats at sea. These diesel engines operate at different speeds under different loads, and that's exactly what they need. But we use them to go to work, drop the kids at school, run errands. From my experience, I think that's where everything gets complicated. Your engine never heats up completely. It always runs at low speed, it always works gently. The exhaust system never gets hot enough to burn off carbon deposits. The particulate filter can't complete its automatic cleaning cycles. Over time, a vicious cycle sets in. Carbon accumulates in the intake system. Air flows less easily. The exhaust gas recirculation system gets clogged with soot. The particulate filter fills up faster than it can clean itself. The turbo develops deposits that reduce its performance. Result is your engine progressively loses power, efficiency, and reliability. Yet technically nothing is broken. That's where what we call Italian tune-up comes in. I'll explain this to you simply. This technique isn't really maintenance. It's a way of driving that involves running your diesel engine at high speed for an extended period. The goal is to burn off all these carbon deposits and restore normal operation. This technique gets its name from the fact that Italians have a reputation for driving sportily, but the science behind this method is very solid. High speeds and heavy loads create the heat and airflow needed to naturally clean the deposits. For diesel vehicles, this technique serves several critical functions. It completes the particulate filter regeneration cycles that were interrupted in city driving. It burns carbon deposits on intake valves and exhaust gas recirculation components. It makes your turbo work through its entire operating range. It brings all engine systems to their optimal operating temperature. The important thing is to do this safely and methodically, not just drive like a maniac. Here's how to proceed correctly with your diesel vehicle. This method requires specific conditions to be effective and safe. First, make sure your vehicle is in good mechanical condition. Check the level and condition of your engine oil. Verify that coolant levels are correct. Check that your air filter isn't completely clogged. Never attempt this procedure if you have warning lights on or known mechanical problems. Choose the right driving conditions. You need a highway or open road where you can safely maintain elevated speeds for 15 to 20 minutes. This isn't something you can do in the city or in residential areas. Here's the step-by-step -step procedure. Start with a normal warm-up period. Drive normally for the first 5 to 10 minutes to bring your engine to operating temperature. Never start high-load driving until your engine is completely warm. Once the engine is warm, accelerate firmly but smoothly up to highway speeds. You want to reach 2,500 to 3,500 revolutions per minute in the highest gear you can safely maintain. For most diesel vehicles, this means 60 to 75 miles per hour on a flat highway. Maintain this speed and load for 15 to 20 minutes. Driver this mistake everyone makes at least once. People think you need to break speed records or drive dangerously. Not at all. You simply keep your engine in its high operating range long enough for the heat and airflow to do their work. During this period, your diesel will work to eliminate carbon buildup. After the high load period, return to normal driving. Don't immediately shut off the engine after intensive driving. Allow a few minutes of normal operation for temperatures to stabilize. But why does this technique work so well on diesel engines? 
The Italian tune-up is particularly effective for diesel engines because of how diesel combustion works. Diesel engines rely on high compression and high temperatures for efficient combustion. When they operate at low load for long periods, combustion temperatures remain relatively low. This allows carbon deposits to form and accumulate. High load operation significantly increases combustion temperature hot enough to burn these carbon deposits. The increased airflow also helps evacuate loosened deposits through the exhaust system. For turbocharged diesels, which includes most modern vehicles, this technique makes the turbo work through its entire operating range. This helps prevent carbon buildup on turbine and compressor wheels. It also keeps variable geometry mechanisms operating freely. This technique is especially beneficial for diesel particulate filter systems. Extended high temperature operation allows the filter to complete full regeneration cycles. It burns accumulated soot that wouldn't have been eliminated during normal driving. Exhaust gas recirculation systems also benefit from higher exhaust temperatures and flow rates. This helps burn carbon deposits that can cause valve sticking and flow restrictions. Now when should you perform this Italian tune-up? For most diesel vehicle owners, performing this technique every two weeks offers the right balance between effectiveness and practicality. However, your specific driving habits may require adjustments to this schedule. If you mainly drive on highways with long regular trips, you may naturally be performing the equivalent of this technique during your normal driving. In this case, a monthly schedule might be sufficient. If you mainly drive in city traffic with short trips, you might need to perform this procedure every week. Pay attention to warning signs that indicate your diesel needs this treatment immediately. Reduced power or acceleration, black smoke during acceleration, rough idle or engine vibration. Decreased fuel economy, particulate filter warning light or frequent regeneration cycles. If you notice any of these symptoms, perform this technique as soon as safely possible. Don't wait for your regular schedule if your engine shows signs of carbon buildup. Regular cleanouts can significantly extend the life and improve the performance of diesel vehicles used primarily for city driving or short trips. Fleet operators who implement regular high load operation report significantly longer particulate filter life. They have fewer exhaust gas recirculation system problems and better overall engine longevity. Many reach over 250,000 miles with minimal emission system problems. By incorporating this technique into their maintenance routine, individual owners report restored power and fuel economy, especially in vehicles that had gradually lost performance over time. This technique can often restore 10 to 15 percent of lost power in vehicles with significant carbon buildup. This procedure also helps prevent costly emission system repairs. Particulate filter replacements can cost $2,000 to $4,000. Exhaust gas recirculation system cleaning or replacement can cost $1,000 to $2,000. Regular cleanouts can help prevent these failures by maintaining system cleanliness. And most importantly, this technique helps diesel vehicles operate as they were designed. Modern diesels are sophisticated machines that perform best when all systems are functioning correctly. This method helps maintain proper operation despite driving habits that don't naturally provide the conditions diesel engines need. Remember, it's not about driving aggressively or dangerously. It's about giving your diesel engine the operating conditions it needs to maintain proper function and longevity. And there you have it. That's it for today. If you liked this video, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my automotive tips.